We now welcome into Studio B, once again, the head coach of BYU basketball, Mark Pope, who's preparing for a tour of Italia and the Leaning Tower of Pizza, among other things. Coach, how are you feeling before Italy? I'm good, but I'm, I'm really upset I didn't get in the dance off yesterday. We were stuck. We were doing our, uh, you know, fan fest thing, mm -hmm. meeting people in the dance offs. I'm trying to get over there, couldn't get over there. Really disappointed. Just next, get in a dance time. battle in uh, one of those famous courtyards in Italy somewhere. Can we come okay. on studio and do a dance off right here one time? <laughs> Jump up on the table. We'll just break yes. it out. It'd be freaking genius. Hey, if, you, if you'd like to do a dance off right now and show us what you got, you're welcome. I mean, the cameras are rolling, so you, just, know. you tell I, us. Oh, no. We're trying to increase the ratings here. <laughs> oh, now you're shy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to compete against the Cougarettes, though, right? The Cougarettes are legit. No, I'll, I'll take on the Cougarettes. I'm not okay. scared of the Cougarettes, You ain't scared man. of the Cougarettes? I, I, don't, the Cougarettes. I don't have... Uh, uh, I don't have a lot of dance skills, but I have a lot of enthusiasm. This so, this we know. Yes, we do. Yes. Okay, we'll get to the specifics of the trip to Italy in just a bit, but we want to address the Yoli Child situation with you here in studio. Unfortunate on so many levels. I mean, we let our frustrations out loud and clear last week, and I know that you have turned over every rock and – You've appealed everything, and it, it just doesn't seem like the NCAA is going to budge. We had Jay Billis on the show last week, and he voiced uh, his concern with the NCAA. Where do you stand a week later? If you can't control it, what what now? Well, listen, our job is is two things. You know, you go through a process like this, and you learn a lot, right? And the first thing we learn is that this Yoli Childs is extraordinary, okay? Um, you know, in this landscape of college athletics, where we see reports like we did that came out yesterday, um, that are naming all kinds of players and all kinds of situations where everybody's running and ducking, hiding. Yoli Childs, when, when we started having these conversations several months ago about him coming back and we started looking into like the new legislation and where things fell, Yoli was coming in, he's like, hey, I'm not hiding, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm bringing everything forward and we're going to go through this process and we're going to be completely forthright and honest and see where we end up. And that takes, a, that takes some real internal fortitude from a young man who understands all the complications of what he's about to go through and 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 was saying i am going to roll this way his integrity is that important to him and and that's a credit to him and it's a credit to this university and it's a credit to the things that 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 we do here and so i, I couldn't be more proud of him um and so he just he just showed again that he's an extraordinary young man that, that lives by a code that's really important to him and um, that's very uncommon, actually. And then the second thing that, that we're focused on right now is we have to find some way, and we talk about this all the time now, we have to find some way that by the time he gets to the end of this season, uh, that as painful as this is to sit out all these games for him and for the team, that we get to the end of the season and we're like, you know what, as awful as that was, it turned out to be something that was better for us. And so there's a number of ways that we can do that and approach that, and that's what we're working on, and that's the focus. Let's talk about that a little bit because those first nine games, there's some challenging games in there, including the Maui Invitational and whatnot. Yeah. And when the non-conference comes out, you'll see which games those yeah. are for sure. But um, the front court's, a I guess, a little thin in terms of who's who's down there, right? Uh, you could say Dalton Nixon yeah. and Gavin Baxter and Colby Lee are the guys, right? Yeah, those are the guys. And, and uh, you know, listen, we, have, we do have veterans on this team. We have guys that have been through it before. And, uh, we have, uh, you know, this Kobe Lee is going to be a really good player for us. He's going to be really good. Gavin Baxter is in the early stages of becoming a star. And Dalton Nixon's a proven commodity. And um, so, you know, uh, we'll, we'll go battle. And this team's going to grow. And, and we're going to become better and, and, uh, and really compete. And, um, you know, for us, the whole trick is at the end of this season, how good can we be when we when we you know, go to Vegas and jump in this WCC tournament, how good are we, right? That's the whole, the whole kind of plan in action is to see what we can become. And, and this is actually going to be a, a beneficial time for us to see how, how quickly we can grow. In terms of lineups, with Yoli gone, how much does a guy like Zach Selyus step in to shore up things if you want to go with the small lineup and four guys around the perimeter? Yeah. Well, certainly it makes, us, uh, it makes us smaller. It makes us less physical. 
Uh, it makes us more of an open offense. Um, we'll probably try and play maybe even a little bit faster, although in, in you know the two weeks of practice we've been able to have since Italy, Yoli Childs is running the floor like a madman. It's been unbelievable. But I think it gives us some opportunity to maybe try some different things and play some different ways. And uh, we're going to need uh, a guy like Zach Sellis to step up and be great, and I think he will. I think he's due for a big-time senior season. I think he's going to have a special year. Since the beginning of the summer when we first got here, he's been working working so hard on several different facets of his game. And so I expect guys like that to step up and, and, and be great. West Coast Conference portion of the schedule is out. Uh, you have a bye in the first week and then a bye in the second to last game. So you play a long, you're the only team to play seven straight weeks. What do you think of the schedule? I like the schedule. Um, I, I think it's going to be good for us. I think it's it's really challenging. Our conference is challenging. I think when these schedules come out, you know, I think all every single team in the league looks at the schedule and be like, oh, if we only had this. But, you know, it is what you have before you. And, and so the, the, the trick is to is to read it in a way that is advantageous to our program. And, and, and that's what we're doing. And we're really excited about it. How Leagues do you read be it great. being advantageous? What's well, advantageous? listen, I, I, I don't hate it. I mean, I don't hate us. Uh, at the beginning of the season, having a little breathing space. At the beginning of the regular season, having a little breathing space because we are just going to have uh, finished a grueling non-conference schedule. And then this WCC tournament for us is everything. And so for us to have a chance at the end of the year to have a little bit of breathing room to kind of freshen up and get ourselves back, I don't hate that either. So I think I think the bookended uh, feature of the season for us is going to be really good. BYU basketball head coach Mark Pope with us on BYU Sports Nation. The official announcement of a transfer Alex Barcelo from the University of Arizona to BYU goes down yesterday. What can you tell us about the new guy? Well, I, I love this kid. Um, I think he's a, he's I think he's an explosive player. Um, I got to watch him a lot as a prep when he was in high school in the AU circuit, and uh, and you just watch him and you're like, man, you imagine if you got a chance to coach this this young man. Um, he uh, he's a, he's an explosive athlete. Uh, he really has the ability to guard. He can really keep the ball in front of him and actually uh, apply a lot of pressure. He's a, he's an explosive scorer. Um, he's a he's a, he's a, he's a little bit pesky defensively, like this fly that's yeah, this, there's a fly this run right around right here. Yeah. It's I right, in my, right in my today. face right yeah. now. Uh, <laughs> but listen, I th- and I, he's a, he's a beautiful human being, right? Um, he's he's uh, weathered some storms in his athletic career and his personal life, and and um, like we all have, and and uh, he's he's gonna. He's going to, I think by the, by the time it's all said and done, he's going to be a fan favorite here at BYU. I'm really excited for him get, to get him on the court. Yeah, big time player out of Arizona. Is he a potential TJ Haas replacement at point guard next year or combo guard with Jesse Wade? In the well, future? listen, we lose TJ. TJ's, TJ, this TJ Haas is a freak, man. So I actually had him in the office. Uh, so we were off yesterday, but we practiced Monday, Tuesday. And after Monday, we'd been through a week of practice. And I brought him in the office and we talked about some things. I'm like, man, I'm surprised. This is not really working well. That's not working well. And teacher was like, no, those things are all fine. And then in practice on Tuesday, he made all of those things fine. And every time he made them fine, he looked over at me. <laughs> He's like, I told you, it's all fine. I mean, this TJ Hawes is He's... a rare talent. I Actually, I'm, like, it's been really fun to coach him in some real practice right now. I, I love this young man, and he's going to be special. So we're going to lose him, and, and it's going to be important that we find guys that can step in and, and kind of carry that torch. And I think Alex certainly is talented enough to do it, and, and I think he's hungry to do it. And, he, you know, we're going to bring in some more help for him in the backcourt, and, and uh, it's going to be fun. BYU basketball head coach Mark Pope on BYU Sports Nation. What does every BYU fan need to know about this Italy trip? Um, well, we're playing four games in five days, which I'm really excited about. And we have no idea what we're going to see. It's, it's interesting as we kind of watch these teams that we're going to play. Uh, you, know, um, uh, you know, Minnesota uh, beat a team by 30, and then the, two nights later, Miami barely beats them by three, right? So it's going to be all over the map. Um, we're excited to go. We actually have uh, the last three weeks, Dr. Haraguchi, who is a professor on campus, has come lectured, given our guys an hour lecture on what they're about to see in Italy for three weeks. Nice. So our guys have learned a bunch of uh, Italian phrases that are important. Uh, they are now could all eloquently describe some of the artistic features of the, of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Um, and uh, so w- w- this has been really educational. We're, I'm so excited. So excited. Yeah. Have you been to Italy? 
I have. Italy before? I went to Italy. Um, well, I, I played in there. I played a couple years overseas, so I played there a little bit. But mm-hmm. but um, the only time I spent extended time was when I, the year before my senior year at Kentucky, we took our foreign tour to Italy. And I still have PTSD from it. <laughs> what, what happened? It was so hard. So literally, we would get up in the morning. We would go practice for two or three hours. And coach was just drilling us, crushing us. You'd roll out of there and be exhausted, and there's no air conditioning in the gym. I mean, it was just miserable, right? We'd get on a bus. He might drive us like we would drive to the Coliseum and just drive around the Coliseum in a bus, and then we'd go back to the gym. And oh. him. I kid you not, it was so <laughs> brutal. Rick. It was it was so terrible. So so I'm not going to really roll that way on this trip, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> was that torture? You're like, oh my go in? No, no. You didn't want to go in. You actually want to go rest. One time we went to, uh, we actually were in Verona, and so we had to take this, like, it was a quarter of a mile walk to get to this statue that we were going to see. Okay. It, first of all, it seemed like it was a 10-mile walk because you're so exhausted, like you're just dead. So we went there, turned around, walked back to the bus. I mean, that was basically our, what we saw in Italy. <laughs> it's a super famous statue. It's like, yeah, it's great, coach. Let's go sit on the bus. Back oh, to practice. Man. Let's go sit on the bus. Well, hopefully the guys have a better uh, trip than you did. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, we're going to have a great trip. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a safe trip. Um, we're taking every every uh, you know every precaution we can to keep everybody safe and and uh, it's gonna, it's going to be really fun. And everyone is eligible to play, correct? We get to play the whole roster. So All the red shirts. Everybody's everybody. playing. So Wyatt gets to play. Rich gets to play. Alex gets to play. Alex is uh, Alex said he's going to go put on a show. So we're really excited. Okay. About and it. Of course, Yoli Childs will play. Yoli yeah, Childs is going to play. Yoli's going to put on a show, and and uh, it's going to be really fun. We can't wait to get there. Okay. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. For your tour of Italy. Yes. We need some BYU Sports Nation karma to get rid of this fly in Studio B as well. <laughs> tour of Italy is also a thing you can get at Olive Garden, by the way. That's yeah, a, that's I actually, yeah. when I actually, when I when I was actually working out and I could eat carbs, I would crush the tour of Italy. The tour of Italy is great. I would crush yeah. the tour. Of, in fact, if we could, get, do we have a sponsorship with? We can talk to somebody. Let's work on with that. Olive Garden. We, we know work, people. Let's work on if, it. If you, you guys get get in touch with Olive Garden, let's do this. Yeah. We we we, <laughs> we, we, will, do, we, we will we will we will we will do a, a social media blitz every single day. <laughs> From Italy. We're doing the tour of Italy. You can eat the tour of Italy <laughs> at Olive Garden. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Coach, great have, to catch up. Have with a great you. trip. All We're right, gonna boys. sneak on that plane.